Welcome to Game of Pock, the show where I play through the history of video games in the order of their release, starting with Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo. I'm Mystic Dan, and today I'm playing Metroid. I am exploring the rest of this... <sighs> I just hurt myself. Uh, really bubbly, green, weird, gooey region. Um... Oops. Ah! Yeah. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So for me, to continue on from my last episode, um, where I was, I've been talking about, uh, well, first Ross and Dark Souls. So they mentioned that the sweet spot for getting more positive, um, uh, getting a more positive placement in YouTube's algorithms they found that that uh, is most favorable, most favorable, most, most, most. Let's go down first. How would you have ever found this? I don't know. You just have to be bombing every floor tile and every wall tile and shooting every ceiling tile. It's just, I can't imagine doing it any other way. Whoa! Huh. Okay, seriously, stop it with the missiles! I need health! I need health! Help me, please! Oh, I can shoot those. Okay, that's fun. Ah! <laughs> Why can't I get health? Health is so impossible to get in this game. Alright, let's... Alright, there's a little bit. Yeah! Alright, that helps a little bit. No! Oh my gosh! Oh! No! Can I please at least get this? Okay. <laughs> I'm... I'm... Not the greatest at this old Metroid game. Oh, come on! <laughs> no! Oh, I was right by the other thing, and then I... This game is ridiculously hard. I'll just put it that way. I wish that the timer in OBS would start either show the street. Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. Well, I might as well uh, die and get the password so I can reset it, because this isn't good. Let's just kill myself. La 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 la. And then I will take a snapshot so that I have it. Really quick. Hello. All right. Yeah, there's a reference. Does it fix it? Oh, it just fixed it. Whatever. All right. Um, but Ross was saying that he thinks that they've changed it again. Um, he heard from someone, from someone, from someone. So there's nothing official about this. So don't take this as official. But um, as hearing it from someone who is a fairly big YouTube star. Um, he had heard it from a friend who knows a guy who knows a guy that the algorithm has uh, been shifted again to favor the 10, uh, 20 to 30 minute mark. Which sucks, because that's even harder. And I mean, it's just like, really? Come on. A lot of videos just don't need that kind of length. A lot of them do, and that's fine. But should videos that just happen to be shorter really be getting the shaft? I think that they need to have, like, a percentage completed kind of thing, where they also take into an account the upvote and downvote ratings as well. Like, I think they could be combining several things, and maybe they are. I don't know. I am not... I don't make the YouTube algorithm, so how am I supposed to know? But I, I would hope that they use some kind of logic that combines all those things, and, you know, obviously they're gonna have to give weight, different weight to different aspects, but, you know, still. As long as they're taking all those things into account, it's probably fine. But that means, you know, they're they're going to favor, um, videos that are, uh, was this the one I wanted? Yes. 20 to 30 minutes long. I don't want them to, my videos to be that long, because I've noticed, I you know, I have some fans that are telling me 
that they have an easier time with the slightly shorter videos. Um, then I have some other friends that are like, they're just a bit too short, like, getting really into it, and then it stops. Um, so I think 20 is probably good. I don't really want to go much longer than 20, but I don't want to go any shorter than 15. So if it happens that 20 or so is about where they've changed the, the length, the favored length to be, I might as well just go for that, you know? Eh. Eh. Come on. Oh, come on. I want health. Thank you. So, um, I'm gonna have my episodes be a little bit longer, just to try to see if that'll help me. You know? Um, anyway, so... That's, that's the, the reason right now. Like, that combined with what some of my friends have said, but they'd like it to be just a little bit longer. But no, no more of these, like, you know, 35, 45, 50 minute long videos. And even with my epic stream, I'm gonna see if I can cut those down, too. And what I'd love is if I could make, uh, get my good friend Knife Tail to make another animation for those. Um, that would be swale. That would be super swale. Because he does amazing animation, I've been very lucky to have his work as part of my stuff. It's been super awesome. Um, and I do gotta give him credit. Uh, he helped me tweak and arrange the intro song. The intro song is entirely my composition and making and my instrumentation and all of that. Um, but he gave me... He, he tweaked with it and played with it a little bit and sent a version that had the, uh, the slowly increasing tone of, you know, adding new instruments that serves to be a very effective introduction, and then I tweaked it from there. So, some props to Ninetale for helping me with the theme, just a little bit. So, thank you for that too, buddy. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm gonna try to do that too and limit my stream videos and Maybe I will, as a result, be able to publish more than just one video a day. I can try publishing two a day, or three a day, or... Maybe do a thing where I'm publishing one of each, you know? In the mornings, I publish Game Epoch, and then about noon or so, I can publish some stream videos. We'll just see how it goes. But yeah, being able to do it this way, where I don't separate my audio, and... Oh, because that's something I haven't talked to you yet. Um, I have a different camera. You may notice that this is a different angle. I'm, my angle for my camera has changed a lot, so... But this is very different. Um, I have a new camera. The GoPro was a great camera, and I would recommend it for people who are looking for a camera with... Oh, that was funky. I bounced. It's so funny, the physics in this game. I would recommend it to anybody who is, you know, wanting to have a camera that does more typical camera-y things. <laughs> um, where am I? Hold on, I gotta figure out where I am. Um... Hmm... Okay, I gotta- I do gotta go over there. Yeah, I didn't have a choice. Okay! I implore you to reconsider. Hmm. Okay. I am sad for anybody who doesn't enjoy the humor of Kung Pao, because that is one of my absolute favorite comedies. Movie is so ridiculously funny. I love it so much. Where could I find a bunch of little pyramid-shaped objects about three inches in diameter? Right here in my hand! <laughs> Kung Pao is, if you don't know, I'll just get on talk about that before I get back to the tangent with uh, Dark Souls and backtracking. Um, Kung Pao is a very funny comedy movie made by Steve Odekirk, who is a producer and writer and stuff for uh, such cult classics as Jimmy Neutron and the Thumb movies like Bat Thumb and Thub Tannic and stuff like that. Uh, Star Thumb Wars, I think? 
He made all those. Those are very funny. The ones that I've seen. I think I only saw Thumb Wars, but I really can't remember. Eee. <laughs> no! Okay. Why is that giving me such difficulty? Oh, jeez. Oh, hello. I'm surprised these guys aren't shooting me. I wonder if they're just glitching. This game has been having issues. I really need to clean my system. And clean all my games before I start playing with them, because... You never know how old these things are. Um, you probably do know that they're very old, actually. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I am now down here, and... Yeah, I went down there first, so I should probably just go down there to... Finish that up. So, yeah, um, I, uh, oh, so, my, with my camera, jeez, I am all over the place with my chatter. I don't have time for chatter. Leave me alone. Um, so one of the things, when I, when I saw, you know, that, he, Ross and Rain of A's Jr. were chatting, and I saw that he is a very popular Twitch streamer. I was like, well, I'll check out his channel. Boy, he's a quick. He's got the works. He is definitely deserving having 500 people watching any given episode. I mean, he's got it all set up, but if you've got the money, you're doing it full time. I think that probably explains a lot of it, and congrats to him. I would love to have that kind of success. That would be so awesome. Um... Maybe. I'll get there. That would be so cool. I would love to be able to do that. To be able to play video games and talk about them and talk with a bunch of people about it. That would be a swell life. Anyway, um... Uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, so I have... When I checked out his Twitch, he also had, like, a... Here's my setup. And I was curious, because I'm curious how other people do their thing. And I paid attention to the, the software and his PC specs, and my PC is actually better for the most part. But I also picked it specifically to do some heavier processes like audio engineering and video encoding and stuff, which is where you will get the benefits of an i7. Um, so I got an i7, I have 4790K. Um, I think I've got it slightly overclocked, but it's just whatever default ASUS setting that's like boost the performance a little bit. So it's nothing, nothing dramatic, nothing overwhelming and huge. Why are these guys shooting at me? Are they just bugging or is this game just broken? Can I kill these guys? I can. Cool. Cool. Um, all right. And I noticed his camera. I was like, what camera is he using? Because it's really been driving me bonkers that I've... The GoPro is great, and it's a great little camera, but it's not meant for this. Um, one of the biggest reasons that I went with it, though, is that it is 60 FPS. Alright, so this is a weapon. Because everything that's been like that is a weapon. Ooh, that's fun! What do you think of that? Officially, it's the wave beam. Can I get through here? I cannot. I cannot. Um, so I wonder if that does more damage, or if that just goes through his walls or whatever. Ow. Oh, it goes down too. That is awesome. So the wave beam in later games has been, or at least in Super Metroid, was really nice because it went through walls. Now, I don't know if this one is freezing anything anymore, actually. I may have lost my ice beam. Um, not sure. Did I lose my ice beam? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm getting pinged. Let me take a look. I think I'm getting close to the... to the mark. We'll see. I, I, I need to... I think I'm gonna have to keep timer. So anyway, um, yeah, the GoPro was fantastic for outdoorsy sports kind of stuff, and for attaching to drones and whatnot, you know, it's great for that. But it's not a great webcam. Oh, look at that. 
Why is it not wanting to shoot those? Oh, this is so weird. It, like, only wants to kill a certain number of them. Come on, let me out of here. Oh, yeah, sure, you gotta do that. Um... That's bizarre that you can only get rid of so many of them. Come on. And, um... Because you, you can't... Like, if you output the HDMI and use a capture card that captures HDMI, well, then you can use it um, to send a feed directly to your computer. But it's not meant for that. It's not meant to be a webcam. It's not meant to be a capture camera. Um, it's just, you know, or, you know, for stuff like this, for streaming or whatever, it's just, that's not its design. Um, and it can't be used while it's charging. Which is the most ridic- oh no! Oh, that's bad! That is so bad! Oh, I got out. Sheesh. This game was not perfectly designed, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> uh, well, not having these nice freeze is definitely easier, but... I don't know. I, I kind of wish I had the... The ice beam still, or that I could switch between them, but I... Don't seem to be able to. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, I think that is it for this area, so I think I'm. it is about time for me to go back. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to the first region. Um, and see if I can go somewhere else first. I think I should go somewhere else first, actually. Um, I think I should be trying to go to Crade's Lair, if I'm correct. Um, let me take a look, see if I can find that. Yeah, I think that's what I should be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up again once I am back in, I think it's Brin Star, the first area. So thank you guys for checking out Game of Pock. I will see you in the next episode. This is Mystic Dan signing out. Bye.